Before we begin, I would like to quickly point out that this is a two-part video with the second one being on one of my fellow YouTubers' channels. His name is The Randomer. So after this video, be sure to go check out some of his content as well. I'll leave a link in the description as well. So be sure to watch all the way through. And with that sort of long intro out of the way, let's begin. The mecha genre of anime has always seemed to pop out to the majority of the anime and manga community. With giant robots flying around battling each other, it just adds on another form of escapism for our power-hungry minds. All the way back in 1995, when the first episode of Neon Genesis Evangelion started to air, an anime was still a guilty pleasure in your room because you were too afraid to get laughed at. All the way to the present day where every weeb and otaku are no longer scared to show who they really are. Regardless of these aspects, when Evangelion made its first appearance, the whole community was left in a daze because something that was only achievable in our childhood minds was being brought to the television. However, this video is not about the beauty of Evangelion and its impact, rather another mecha show that remains in our hearts, this being Gurren Lagann. Gainax has continued to be the fuel to the giant mecha machines we see in the past, having created shows such as Fully Coolie, Gunbuster, and Nadia, but in April of 2007 they created a masterpiece. Not saying that the previously mentioned shows are not also masterpieces, but bear with me for the sake of this one. In 2007, Gurren Lagann was created, and 13 years later, the fanbase is still head over heels for it. Why do you think that is? Pause the video and let me know in the comments why you think it's had such a huge impact. The director of Gurren Lagann is a man by the name of Hiroyuki Imaishi, who is now a key animator and animation director, as well as one of the co-founders of the famous Trigger Studio, who have produced beautiful animations over the years. But what's this have to do with the impact of Gurren Lagann, you may ask? Well, you see, after being a former employee for Gainax and founding Trigger, if you pay attention to detail on some of Trigger's past works, you'll be able to notice the similarities in the amazing art style. The visual humor and style that defines Trigger began with Gurren Lagann. At least, that's what the research led me to believe. Before any of these amazing shows, however, Hiroyuki was actually part of a doujinshi circle, meaning my man is definitely aware of the cultured side of anime as well, if any of the past statements failed to get you on board with him. Also, if you'd like to know more about Trigger Studio and their massive influence, I'll leave a card in the corner of the screen linking to one of my favorite YouTubers videos where he interviews another one of the co-founders and producers of Trigger, Masumudo Kazuya. By the way, if you haven't heard of the anime man, I highly suggest you subscribe to his channel as well because watching his videos for as long as I have, he's one of the main reasons I got inspiration to start a channel to talk about what I love. So yeah, huge shout out to you Joey, even though I doubt you'll ever see this, keep making banging content. Now let's continue. Gurren Lagann is set in a future world where everything is ruled by the Spiral King, who if you haven't seen this show somehow is a complete and utter asshole. He forces everyone to live in isolated subterranean villages who are constantly in panic of earthquakes and have no contact with the surface world. More or less, they're fucked. Follow alongside our main protagonist Simon as him and his fellow diggers follow his dream and journey to reach the surface world with their giant mechs. That, however, is only the general synopsis of the story as it can mean the world to so many people in pursuit of following their dreams no matter the obstacles, which is just another reason why I love not only this anime, but this whole entire community, not including how well the animation is done in this show, with Atsushi Nishigori being Gurren Lagann's character designer, but the whole cast did an outstanding job for this anime that so many people would say it was ahead of its time when it first came out. Gurren Lagann spread so much faster than anyone would initially have thought back in 2007, having adapted not only anime, but manga, video games, and more, which not only was fantastic for the community, but I do have to say that strategy was and is a great way to capitalize and build, which for Gainax turned out to be sort of a downfall seeing as Trigger Studios was created and they lost Hiroyoshi, which if you can't tell from the previous parts of the video is an absolute legend. Gurren Lagann is the staple for so many of the older anime created by Trigger as well as some of the newer ones. The more frantic and fast-paced art style adapted from it has made some of my favorite shows, mecha, action, anime from the past possible to create. Honestly, after reflecting on most of the script, I'm mostly praising Trigger and its co-founder Hiroyoshi, which doesn't really bother me seeing as Trigger is one of my favorite studios. But being able to look back at the creation of Trigger, you can tell that it's mostly based off the premise and success of Gurren Lagann. I will praise Trigger to high hell because they are still creating awesome shows that never cease to amaze my lust for action and suspense. 
If you would like to learn more about why Gurren Lagann is so memorable, there's a link to my friend's channel in the description, and if you love Trigger and anything manga related, I will also leave a link to the Anime Man's channel. I'm broken obsessed in my otaku ways, and I will see you lovely weebs next time. Forgot the poison missing.